Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on the crew to continuing my adventures across America. We are going, well, we're going to be driving towards a racetrack again, but this time it's a slightly different sort of track because we're going to take a look at some rallycross. The last time out we finished up here at uh, Little Eagle Speedrome. Today we are heading south. We are heading towards Dallas for a rallycross event. This one uh, is taking place over here. It's kind of, uh, we're not going to quite get the, uh, there we go. Now you can kind of see what we're talking about. A uh, half tarmac, half dirt circuit that we have got going on. An interesting looking Interesting looking place indeed. To be, to be fair, it kind of looks like a half constructed normal racetrack with the top, but let's not question it too much. This is going to be our destination, if you like. Rallycross is not something that I have had a go with as of yet, so kind of looking forward, to, or haven't had a go with it in terms of the camera, I did one race uh, off camera because I've got a Lancia Delta S4. I figured, you know, in, in terms of buying, in terms of buying a vehicle for, for Rallycross, the Lancia Delta was going to be the way to go. Oh, I forgot bikes. So. <laughs> Bikes don't turn quite like the cars on the game. Uh, either way, yes, we've got a rallycross vehicle to go and uh, have a little, a little play with. And I figured for at least some of the journey, I'll have a go on a bike. Now I know very little, very little at all when it comes to bikes. I am not. Oh, I missed my turning. Well, we're going this way. It's fine. Much like with the ooh, train. Should we get distracted and chase the train? I've not really got the vehicle. If I got the motocross bike, maybe. Well, let's do it. Let's, yes, let's do a wheelie while just crossing a field. Nothing can go wrong with any of that at all. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, there's vehicles about. Yeah, bikes handle differently to to cars, and I'm not quite used to it. They don't don't quite perhaps have the same grip through the corners, but of course they're all kind of about whoa acceleration. And so on. I mean, this is, you know, not a super bike we've got here. This is a Harley Davidson that you get given with the gold edition. Again, I mean, I, I know it's a Harley because it says it on the side of it. That's about my level of bike knowledge. That's about my level of bike knowledge. So, as far as a, a, a bike, a vehicle to sort of test the limits of a, of a bike's racing capabilities, this is probably not the go to one. And there are you know, a fair few super bikes, sports bikes and so on on here, if that is something that you are after. Uh, this is fairly capable, do not get me wrong, being that I have modified it with the old... It sounds a little bit weird, basically the parts that are no longer on my Porsche, because the bikes are in the street racing category, and the parts that are no longer on my Porsche have found their way onto this, so we are doing... I think we've got 170 when it's going downhill. Oh, We need to remember to make a corner. Uh, <laughs> So, with a little bit of gravity assistance, with a little bit of gravity assistance, we can go quite fast. I'm also slightly concerned as to why there is a halo going over. We've got like a rim world sort of thing over there somewhere. Where has it gone? I'm not going mad. There was definitely something weird in the distance. Hold on. I mean, this is the joy of the crew. This is why I love it. It's just that there's. What the bloody hell is that? What the hell is that? Who has been building strange monuments? You know what? Let's go and have an investigate. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be driving somewhere, but what the bloody hell is that? Where are we, in fact? What's it? No, someone will probably know exactly what that is. Uh, we are heading towards St. Louis, apparently. Does, does... I mean, I presume... Like, that's a pretty glaringly obvious landmark if, if St. Louis doesn't actually have that. Then it's quite strange. That's okay. I mean... I was not expecting that, I will be honest, on my travels today. I was not expecting that at all. Just a giant random archway that we can fly a Spitfire through. Sure, I guess. Uh, little bit of a detour. Little bit of a detour in all of that. However, I mean, it was worth it purely for my for my curiosity. It was definitely worth it purely for my my curiosity. Now we're not going to be able to go back into our bike, are we? We're going to have to go back to the car and plop. There goes the Maserati. 
And we'll have to go and do it through the pause menu to get back into the vehicle. It's kind of a shame, like, you can't select to have multiple vehicles on the little wheel. You can only have your favourite boat, plane, and car. And considering there's so many different categories. Whoa! But, okay, I wanted to do a little wheelie. Didn't quite expect the full backflip. Uh, <laughs> nope, okay. It's very... I mean, let's face it, wheelies are not exactly the easiest. or supposed to be the easiest, easiest thing in the world. Uh, it's very easy to suddenly get a little carried away. So you're kind of doing a little wheelie, and then the tiniest movement on the analog stick, and then you're suddenly on your back, kind of scraping along the ground. Not that the game has any rider fall-off physics. You kind of get reset too quickly. In fact, a lot of the... You can say crashes and so on is ends up you just being reset, which is perhaps a little bit of a shame. I'd like to see what would have happened to the vehicles. Oh, I can also understand perhaps they don't want the ragdoll physics of a person falling off a bike because probably for ratings. I presume this game is a 12. If you have ragdoll physics of people being flung around, it's probably not going to keep it at those sort of levels. So. I can understand. It'd be fun, you know, like the old flat-out games of just, like, ragdoll your person. And again, ideas for game modes, all of the silly, like, high jumps and long jumps that they did, but that's that's for flat-out, not, not, not really. <laughs> so, ideas for game modes. Like, it, just a game that gives you a ragdoll physics, even, even if it doesn't officially have a game mode of long jump, that would still be fun. But, yeah, not something that we can do on here. I have been playing a little bit more of the career mode through the event, essentially. And I'm still, so far, kind of enjoying them. There are a few, I say endurance races, that would be an incorrect term, but there are some longer races. There are some kind of road trip style races that will take you 10, 15 minutes to complete. I had to go with one in a hypercar, as RRT did well, uh, running across there. There was also one where you got loaned a bike, which was, I mean, slower than this one. I think it was another Harley uh, event, but you got like a big cruiser style bike. I think I'm using that terminology correctly. I'm not entirely sure. I will be honest. But yeah, you get a big you get a big bike and you go racing for about 15 minutes across the map. Kind of a fun race. Kind of a fun race. It was a little bit I was a little bit nervous that I was going to bulls it up. Hey, we might as well go and get a speed trap while we were here. I uh, found something to do along. Oh, and I got an achievement as well. Fantastic. <laughs> Don't know if I'm. They did not really worth very much in terms of money, but you know what? I'll take. I'll take the achievement. I think these get harder as you go. Like once you've hit the target, uh, the target speed, they then actually go up in terms of the target speed. So perhaps by like the later levels, you get decent. Later stages, perhaps in those, you get some decent money. Uh, who knows? Uh, anyway, as I was saying, yeah, the long distance events. I was a little worried that easy to make silly mistakes on those sort of things, and I didn't want to have, especially when you're all on kind of like loaned vehicles, and you've got fairly similar levels of performance. Didn't want to end up getting a little bit sort of screwed over and stuck running around at the back for a long time. Game's fairly kind to you though. I did a couple of real silly things with the bike ending up having to reset it about three times over the course of the race and the catch up will generally bring you back to the field without too much difficulty. Uh, the AI weren't horrendous. I've, I've not found this game to be as horrendously rubber bandy as other people have. Personally, like it will catch me up to the AIs if I make a silly mistake. In general, I haven't had too much trouble with the AIs doing that to me. Like if I watch to the front, I can get kind of get away. Although I have been largely driving over leveled cars essentially for a lot of the events, so that probably makes my life a little bit more a little bit more straightforward. It's kind of nice having I say it's kind of nice. With the longer events, you know, when you're eight minutes in and you make a silly mistake and you've only got like 10% of the race to go, it's nice in some ways knowing that the game will still give you half a chance. Uh, real realism, sure, no, that's no, not quite. However, this game is not about realism. This game is about fun. And yeah, that, 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 I'm kind of okay with that. I'm kind of okay with that. If you're going to do longer races, I'd rather they were a little bit kind to you uh, sometimes. Are we going to actually get. We are going to make a corner correctly. I slowed down and everything. Uh, it's kind of a small little town. We have wandered through there. Oh, truck! That's not normally what happens. Uh, <laughs> we got away with that quite well. How far can we wheelie? Oh, it's probably not the best bike for wheelieing. I completely balls things up. Hello, car. I was looking at flashy thing at the bottom of the screen rather than paying attention to what I was doing <laughs> with the bike. Not a clever idea. 
not a clever idea. Uh, the bike is surprisingly rapid. I will, I will give it that with all of the upgrades that I've got on it. It is actually pretty... Whoa, okay, that orange car. That was actually Johnson. Buggered off in that direction. Uh, it was a ghost car. It scared the crap out of me, but it's fine. It's fine. It was just a ghost car. Can we get some extra fans? We'll just go and oh, get close to all of the buses. Might as well. I mean, it's free XP while we're going down here. I think there are ways to get lots of XP by doing various stunts, if you were wanting to do that. Again, if, like me, you're just sort of having fun and doing events and whatnot along the way and not really that fast, then, yeah. <laughs> just picking up the extra 10, 20, 100 or so on if we get a lot of cars. I found a monster truck arena. I mean, it would be rude not to, really, wouldn't it? There's some giant loops over there. It would be rude not to go and see what the bike can do on the giant loops. Oh, I could have driven on a road. Probably wouldn't be the sensible thing to do. However, we didn't drive on the road. Shall we go and see what the... <laughs> What the bike? I mean, I guess we could go. We could go do a monster truck event, sure. But first of all, I am going to go and see what the bike can do on the giant loops, because you know. And to be fair, in the beta, I think during a live stream, I managed to get a plane on the ground uh, to go around a loop. That did work. So I would presume a bike probably isn't going to have much in the way of issues. Although the bike is not massively comfortable with being on the dirt. Uh, I guess we're going to have to go try and go for a decent run up. I don't know how fast how fast we need to go to uh, to make it but we will go and see oh hello wall i was spinning the camera around oh of course what was it managed to put my bike in from a reverse gear yet when i don't quite know how that works but let's not question it at the end of the day we don't ask too many questions it's probably the best probably for the best here we go bike on to the loop hey oh no not quite it's not quite worked. It has worked. Somehow. We're fine. Nothing very terrible nearly occurred. That did not quite go according to plan, did it? Let's maybe re recharge the... We've got 200 fans for our near... Ooh, for our near-death experience. There's a wall there. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's the wrong button. I was going to say, shall we go for a... Uh, what's cha I don't even remember what change camera is. What is change? Change camera. How does one... Oh, if I, I wonder where the horn had gone. How does one change the... How have I forgotten how to change the camera? There we go. Right, first person view. On the bike. To probably our death, uh, actually. Do we want to go... We kind of don't want to go across that tabletop, really. But there's no other way to uh, line up. Here we go. Nitro, 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 nitro. Not quite fast enough. Oh! <laughs> that was very much to our death. Okay. Maybe with with some less dirt, we would be able to... Uh, or less less dirt run-up, we would be able to uh, make that one work. Uh, this event... I've no idea if I've done this event before, but we are here. So let's go and have a go with our monster truck. Oh, apparently we have a typical... Of course, it has been an event we have done. is the one we happen to go next to. We'll show monster truck events anyway. While we are here, get some money. And, of course, having a... Fiat 500 monster truck is fantastic. Uh, regardless. So there are two types of monster truck event in this game. Certainly that I've come across anyway. Uh, there is monster truck street races, which were very exciting and very entertaining. Where <laughs> a, I think we had four of us driving monster trucks through the streets of, I think it was LA, but you're driving monster trucks through somewhere anyway, and they caused, they caused carnage, essentially. Uh, which was, yeah, thoroughly entertaining. Oh, did not quite get myself to the... Uh, Oh, and I don't think I get bonus points. I think you only get points for you only get the uh, like the big num big, the numbers up here are the things to get the points for in this event. Sorry, I get I'm getting distracted already. Yes, uh, so there is a street racing thing if you want. There are street racing events if you want to with your monster truck, and then there are of course these arenas. It's all about gathering points. Now I've done a terrible job here. I've just kind of thrown the monster truck in. But if you want to go sort of point chasing, there will be, you know, you can learn the optimum route through here to get as many points as possible. Of course, oh, I've not really got very good steering there. Come on, come on, monster truck. Uh, okay, so this goes around the loop at much lower speeds than the bike. The bike just gets unhappy going upside down. Uh, yeah, there are, I'm sure, very efficient ways to score points. You're not going to be able to ever get all of the... All of... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Definitely don't want to be wasting time by having to grab reverse. You're not going to be able to get all of the... 
points tokens, if you like, around any given arena. So if you can figure out the efficient path to uh, get as many as possible, you know, sure, the gold ones are great for a thousand points. However, if it takes you a really long time to get them, you're better off getting a few 500s, a few hundreds uh, along the way. Uh, we've completed the objective here. The objective, I mean, this is a fairly, this is a fairly early, if I've, if I've done it, it must mean it's a fairly early, uh, fairly early level, essentially, fairly early, early thing. Um, points targets aren't too difficult to, to achieve. I mean, I've not had a very good run here at all. It'll probably get more difficult as you go along, and there is, this is just on the normal difficulty, there is a hard mode as well, which will probably give you a much tougher point target to hit, where you will actually have to efficiently go around and grab some points. Uh, I feel like I should probably try and find a way onto that. I haven't really gone to that upper arena. Like, there's, there's a lot of thousand pointers uh, around the upper arena. How does one get to the upper? Do I even have time to try and not really? Oh, gotta go through the gearbox. It's a little sluggish sometimes getting through the old, getting through the old gearbox. Uh, where does one go to get up onto second? I don't actually know. Oh well, there's a, there's, oh okay, that's gonna be, we're gonna just sort of walk the plank. Or, as I like to do with a monster truck, just flat out and hope. Hey! It actually works surprisingly well. <laughs> the first time I did any sort of driving across those, I pretty much slipped off the platform both sides all at the same time. I just did very poorly. Like that. That's more like it. That's my normal monster truck uh, approach. So these are not the easiest thing to drive. They they kind of steer a bit funky. Oh, that was that was a nitro boost and hope. Yeah, the monster trucks steer a little bit funky. I, I'd say I'd steer a bit funky. I don't have much luck with them yet. I'm sure I'll get used to it when I've driven it a little, driven it, driven it a little bit more. But as it is, yeah, I, <laughs> I have, I have little issues. Those sort of fine controls with it do get a little bit funky from time to time. I don't know if I can. I probably can't. I probably can't show it off particularly well. But there we go. Oh, we unlocked a free front bumper for our monster truck, and we've got some better parts. We've got some brakes. We've got loads of different motor cores for this apparently at least they're still better motor cores and there we go so that was a uh, wandering around the monster truck park because there just happens to be one along the way and as i said multiple times this is what i love about the crew this is what i love about the crew because there's always something somewhere going on Actually, you know what? We've had fun with a bike. Let's go and get us into our rallycross car. Du -du -du. Here it is, of course. Naturally, when given an option of rally cars. I mean, the Lancia, the 037 was tempting, as was the classic Fair Lady and the Camaro for, for rallycross uses, because they sound like fun. However, given the option... Why have I on earth have I been teleported over here? Oh, okay, it's out the back of the arena. Never mind. Anyway, yes, given, <laughs> given the option, if there's a Lancia Delta S4, chances are that's going to be the one that I am going to be to be using. Not a car I perhaps expected to see in this game, I'm going to be honest. However, I really am glad to see it. There is also the Citroen uh, DS3 rally car. Uh, Citroen something. Either way, there's a Citroen, like a proper almost uh, rally cross car. There is also the Focus uh, rally cross vehicle, which is pretty neat to see. Christ, that thing very nearly murdered us. Uh, inter again, I'm, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked, but interesting side thought, if you like. Uh, cross traffic behaves in an interesting way. So, street racing games, you know, you're coming up towards a junction at full, full racing speed. There is always that danger that someone's going to pull out in front of you and you're going to plow into the side of them. Every street racing game you've ever played will, of course, have this. The cruise AI traffic. Oh, I'm probably not going to be able to show you because it's probably not going to happen while I am while I am driving here. But the crew, if the traffic is heading on to, if you are flying along and a car comes out of a junction towards you, the AI vehicle will pretty much stop. I haven't had an AI car keep going in front of me ever. I've had a few times where an AI car has come out and stopped and I've gone to swerve expecting it to be somewhere and it's stopped and I've swerved into the bit where it stopped because I wasn't expecting the car to stop. But the AI traffic does do a... Ah, I could have, would have got across in front of it. Oh, I was going to say, that looked like a really like lego -y train. It's just the texture hadn't loaded in in time. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, the cross traffic will go out of its way to 
not cause a crash, which is quite nice. Which is quite nice indeed. As I just noticed, does my Lancia have three eggs at why does I thought it um I thought it had four. I like I'm not surprised by the Lancia having exhaust at the bottom and exhaust in the middle. That I mean that's probably a Lancia thing. I actually thought this car had four. I thought it would have had one on each maybe we maybe I mean that might be just I'm wrong about the car. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I guess possibly. However, oh, that's annoyed me now. Again, somebody let me know if the Delta S4 genuinely had three exhausts. Yeah, I had a feeling it had exhausts in the middle. I seem to remember that. I have a model Delta S4 somewhere. God knows where. I think it's my parents' house somewhere. Um, with, the, you know, like a detailed, detailed model in the back came up. And I seem to remember that having exhausts higher up as well. But I don't know. I'll have to go and Google some pictures afterwards. Uh, <laughs> right, it is Rallycross racing time. Oh, that's a big amount of water all of a sudden. I wasn't expecting the water. I was not expecting the water. Uh, also, on in terms of car handling physics, in terms of driving physics, I think the Rallycross might be some of the most fun that I've had. While the airborne stuff is, you know, the, the, the airborne the jumping is still a little bit weird. The way the cars fly and interact with the ground is a little weird. In terms of actual physical handling characteristics of these cars, these will probably suit more people. They are actually quite lively, they slide, they slither around like you would expect from a rallycross car, which is kind of cool. Actually, it's kind of cool. It's very cool, actually. These are, these are very good fun driving. I was doing one of the, like, the main, uh, say the, the main series, the main race events, and the ones where you change vehicle, essentially, at varying points, and one of those took place in the snow. I've only had one, one, one adventure in the snow. The weather is say it's random, I don't know how the weather how the weather works on this, but you can get you can get snow and it will affect the entire map. Now for me, I haven't seen that. The only time I've seen snow was yet during this one particular event. But uh, you're kind of racing on dirt roads in the snow and the Lancia was amazing fun. It was you kind of slid the car around, you chucked it about. It was uh, it was entertaining. Oh, there seems to be a joke allowed. I don't know whether we're supposed to take this once a race or whether we can take it however we want, or however however often we want. I have done a goof in all of that. There's nowhere, to, there's nowhere telling me off for taking Joker. I think that's... I mean, it's kind of a Joker lap. But there we go. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, Rallycross cars, excellent fun to drive, as you would expect, because Rallycross is brilliant. But as you would expect, Rallycross cars, excellent fun indeed. And the circuits, so far, the little, the little tiny bit of Rallycross stuff I have done, the circuits are pretty good. Of course, I'm playing the crew, and there's now a little jet going on overhead. So you'll probably hear that. The jets are really noisy around <laughs> around this part oh well, part where i live anyway that was a very very big panic and chuck the car sideways i'm going to continue to ignore whoa ignore i don't know everyone's just going this way anyway so <laughs> yeah joker doesn't really matter that route i think is slightly quicker although a little bit more wiggly we're we gonna have some more sliding there we go kind of i don't even know if i've got the assist turned off of this category of car you know it's kind of that slidey naturally, possibly. We'll have a look in a second. I'll get some more parts to uh, modify the vehicle with. Oh, this is a dangerous parking spot. Hello! Oh, we got... <laughs> we got booped by a Mini. I think it was a Mini. We definitely got booped by something. And there we go. We have got new bits and pieces for the for the Delta S4 to make it that little bit quicker. Let's go and have a look. Ah, the bits, two of them are bits anyway, that we haven't got as of yet. And there we go. Pro settings. Oh, so it has actually got, oh, I didn't have traction control on. Turn all of those off, turn all of those off. We don't want those. I've also unlocked all of this stuff here. Uh, <laughs> haven't quite got gearbox, whatever ARB is, aero distribution and so on, but can, can, can turn stuff around we're gonna have some fun messing around with videos um using using all of that stuff because you can turn the grip off essentially and there we go so now do we have I mean, it's probably gonna handle a lot more like people want their um arcadey racing cars to handle like quickly spin it round go 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 yeah it's i think this is a great category of racing i think the rallycross is a uh, fantastic category of racing Oh, that's ugh. okay. We pinged off of the wall. I was trying to chase down some AI cars, and we've done. We've done. I'm not driving it very well. I'm going to say that much. Again, the crew has got 
something just about for everybody, or if you're like me and just want to drive as many different sorts of motorsports as possible, it's got you covered there as well. And I mean, there's there's a lot of different sorts of motorsports. And so far, yeah, I'm really liking the Rallycross. Some unusual, some rather different cars. Well, I say unusual, just cars you might not expect to see in a game like this. Delta S4 being one of them. I really, really look forward to, at some point, uh, getting my hands on the 959, the Rally Raid vehicle. Because who doesn't want the 959 as a, as a Rally Raid vehicle? Oh, I'm just trying to catch up to some... Uh, it's the AI races. Well, I will overtake you guys. Oh, I'm going to find myself in the same wall. Maybe not. Gonna, maybe not overtake them. But there we go. That was some some bike road tripping across America. Get distracted by a monster truck and play around with a rally cross car. I'm still enjoying the game. I, <laughs> I know it won't be for everybody. I'm still thoroughly enjoying myself over here. Uh, that though is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.